Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25309. This is the latest build for the dev channel, as I've said, and the first build in two weeks. So we're very hyped for this one because this is a bigger build with a lot of new features to test out and to show in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, we have the new volume mixer experience in Windows 11. For those of you who watch this channel, I showed this as a preview before. I showed how to enable it, but now it is officially rolling out by Microsoft. Of course, this is not rolling out to everyone. It's still in the testing zone, but if you get it, you'll see that this is very, very useful and users asked for this for a long time. Basically, you can control the volume for each individual app that you have opened up. And as you can see, different to the video that I've made previously, if you click on on a select a sound output, you have some nice animations that go hand in hand with the Windows 11 experience and also Windows Control V as a shortcut, which is actually pretty nice. Let's try it out, Windows Control V. And as you can see, it opens up the volume mixer. This is very, very useful. And you have a quick link to more volume settings in the sound section of the settings app. Also, Microsoft is re-enabling the touch keyboard dropdown. If you right click on the taskbar, taskbar settings, and then under system tray icons, you should see here touch keyboard with this dropdown, never, always, or when no keyboard board attached and after making some fixes Microsoft is reintroducing this. We also have some changes regarding the auto color management. Now insiders in the dev channel will be able to turn ACM on their SDR displays and have all colors across all Windows apps whether or not they are color managed appear accurately and consistently on every supported display. To enable this of course go into settings, display, advanced display and then turn on automatically manage color for apps. In this build yet again we have voice access improvements. I'm not gonna go in depth with that but you can check out more info for those of you who are interested in this feature and the changes that Microsoft brings to this in the article below in the video's description. Just as quick notes, we have redesigned in-app command help page. Voice access is now available in English dialects and also we have new text selection and editing commands. Now moving on to bigger and better things. Starting today, Microsoft is trying out different text variants within the treatments for the start menu badging. And you're gonna have some screenshots to see how those look. I don't have them enabled right now because because of course they are slowly rolling out to Windows Insiders. Also, Microsoft is trying out a more personalized second chance out of the box experience with a small subset of Windows Insiders in the dev channel. Regarding the search on the taskbar, the search box on taskbar will be lighter when Windows is set to a custom color mode, especially when the Windows 11 mode is set to dark and the app mode is set to light under settings, personalization, colors, you'll see a lighter search box on taskbar. Regarding the file explorer, we are finally starting to see glimpses of the new file explorer that Microsoft is working on behind the scenes that we could maybe see somewhere this year. Windows Insiders will now begin noticing a pizza icon on the command bar in File Explorer. This icon denotes that an insider is previewing the Windows app SDK version of the File Explorer. Functionality in File Explorer remains unchanged. It just switches from using WinUI 2 to using WinUI 3. So if you click on it, it just switches between those modes. In the coming days, I'm going to show you a preview of the new gallery that is present in the File Explorer. So I'm really glad that Microsoft is working continuously on improving the File Explorer and we should see that final version of File Explorer summer this year as I've said. Regarding snap layouts, Microsoft is investigating ways to improve the discoverability and usage of the snap layouts such as decreasing the hover time required to invoke the flag when you mouse over the maximum slash restored button in an app's title bar. In addition to a few other tweaks, you'll notice some treatments will also pull in the icon of the app window you're working in and adding a descriptive title. I've done a video previously in which I showed you how to enable all of those variants. So I'm going to link that below in the description, along also with the volume mixer video to see how Microsoft has improved that. Regarding Windows Spotlight, starting today, Microsoft is disabling the different treatments that they've been trying out for Windows Spotlight due to an issue impacting the experience insiders will have on these treatments. So Microsoft is planning to reintroduce them when they are more stable. So I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Some input changes as well. Microsoft updated the simplified Chinese handwriting recognition engine to be faster and more accurate. Regarding the widgets, Microsoft is beginning to roll out theme-aware icons for widgets on the taskbar so that based on the user's Windows theme, dark or light, the widgets icons will display a theme-aware icon that will have a lighter contrast ratio which will make information on the taskbar clearer for users, particularly for those with low sight. And, and as you saw, I put some screenshots on the recording so that you can see how that would look. Regarding settings, Power and Battery has been updated to include settings for choosing what happens when interacting with your PC 
PC's physical power controls. As for new features, this is it in this build. I think this is a pretty big build and a quite exciting one, and hopefully we will find new hidden features in this build related to the file explorer most likely, and I think this is a really good job done by Microsoft. Now let's talk about a few fixes, some general fixes. Microsoft fixed an issue causing USB devices including keyboard and mouse to not work for some insiders after upgrading to build 25295 plus. They fix an issue for some insiders where if you'd uninstall the previous flight it would cause your start menu and taskbar to crash. They also fix an issue where when using Windows Hello to sign in with facial recognition it may not have worked on ARM64 PCs. They also fix an issue with the Windows Insider program settings page showing a newer build was available in Windows Update even though you were on the latest available build on the dev channel. I've had this error before so I'm glad that they fixed it. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes impacting taskbar and system tray. They also fixed a display issue that could result in the taskbar appearing duplicated when making resolution changes. And they also fixed an issue which was causing app icons on the taskbar to appear on the wrong monitor for some insiders with multiple monitors. Regarding widgets, they fixed an issue where under certain circumstances, third-party widgets were not loading as expected. Regarding search on the taskbar, they fixed rendering issues when using the touch keyboard with the search box on the taskbar. They fix an issue when double clicking the search highlight glyph in the search box makes it disappear. They also fix an issue where the search box would randomly disappear. Fix an issue where the search icon flips incorrectly for right to left languages. Fix an issue where you might have seen some text flicker in the search box when you click onto it. Fix an issue where the search box might disappear on one monitor if you're using multiple monitors. They also made some accessibility fixes to the settings for search under settings, personalization, and taskbar. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue which caused insiders with custom desktop icon arrangements and sizes to get set back to default in the previous build. They also fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of file explorer unexpectedly jumping into the foreground sometimes. The open and new tab context menu option in middle clicking folders will now open the tab in the background rather than switching focus. And they also fixed an issue where the close button could get stuck in a highlighted state when you moved your mouse across it. We also have some input settings and you can see those listed in the article below related to some language layouts and also some IE context menus. Related to the settings app, they fix an underlying issue believed to be the root cause of why some insiders saw their startup app settings get reset with the previous build. Now also going to privacy security and then phone calls should no longer crash in settings. Regarding windowing, they fixed a high hitting DWM.exe crash in the last couple flights. And we also have some other fixes but I'm only gonna mention one. They fix an underlying issue which was leading to Microsoft Edge crashes for some insiders in the last few flights. If you want to see the whole list of fixes and the whole list of known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. So this was the build for today. It's quite a big one and I'm happy for it. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.